Now, t joining me is Fiona Godley, is the editor in chief of the BMJ, the British Medical Journal. And she writes that the pandemic has exposed failures of national and global leadership. Um, I guess whichever country we look at, there are inevitably going to be those failures. For example, arguably in Australia, it is the Scott Morrison's government failure to vaccinate. In Britain, arguably, it is the failure to stop uh, flights from India that would have brought in the, um, the, the, the Delta variant. What point are you making here, do you think? I think we have to acknowledge um, enormous successes uh, with the vaccination program. 85% of adults have had a first dose, nearly, far, nearly half of adults have had a second dose. Um, and that's been fantastic. Other successes with the science and the trials we've done and the NHS has managed fantastically, it hasn't been overwhelmed. But you're right there. I think there have been some real policy failures. You've mentioned the one about failing to close our borders in time when we knew that this new variant from India was coming our way. Uh, but there are other failures that are longer standing, um, that slow to lock down in the first instance, being quite unprepared um, and also really failing on testing, tracing, isolation and particularly failing to provide support for people so that they will come forward to test and that they will right. isolate if found to be positive. So the test, trace and isolate system um, is one major, major failing. Vast sums have been spent on it using a poor test rather badly. I don't know anywhere that's really done a very good job on test and trace. Arguably, Australia, since we, you know, they, they know about this one driver who, who caught it from somebody off a plane and that's a, But otherwise, I, I don't know any other country that has done a half decent job of test and trace. And I wonder in today's metropolitan world whether it's, it's realistic. Well, I think the countries that did do well were those that were affected by um, by earlier pandemics, you know, early epidemics, right. um, MERS, etc. Um, and and they are, you know, mainly basing their response to the pandemic on testing and on on really thorough contact tracing. Um, and and it just feels that that would have been something over the period of 18 months. We knew uh, initially we didn't have enough testing capacity, uh, but what's been happening in the UK has been this very kind of vertical privatised uh, system using a, a right. test which has been effectively banned in America uh, for being not, not effective, not safe. Uh, Dr Goodley, the, the pictures came out today of the chief medical officer being harassed, which I think quite rightly everybody um, abhors. I mean, I suppose there's an argument for saying why he didn't have security, bearing in mind his high profile uh, position. And we've also, there are rumors, you know, what, what do you make of this? Um, the the anti-lockdown measures are against, people are prepared to take extreme measures. I think it's just a sign of the enormous divisions um, in society and, and a slight breakdown of, of just good behaviour. I mean, it's really horrifying to see Chris Whitty, who's a very gentle, um, you know, well-spoken, uh, thoughtful, very intelligent, um, brave person, has done a, a, an amazing job in his role, not at all easy, hasn't mm -hmm. got everything right, but he's been brave and outspoken and, 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 and I think generally very good right. at supporting the science. So it's very upsetting to see these scenes and the police are taking action, which I'm very glad to see. Fiona, finally, um, I've just got to ask you, Matt Hancock, UK Health Secretary, who sort of left. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you anything about what he did or how he did it, but I would like no, no, you I'm to... Those questions, <laughs> <laughs> but I would like you to grade his performance as Health Secretary vis-à-vis -vis the pandemic. I think Matt Hancock will be harshly treated by history. I mean, health secretaries have come and gone, and um, we've had one previously who was considered to be the worst health secretary in recent memory. But I think Matt Hancock will go down as worse than him. Uh, I think the blatant cronyism, corruption, um, the way he broke his own rules in the end was the final straw. But he had been heavily criticised, rightly, for uh, giving contracts without competitive bidding to his acquaintances with no experience in the work they were being asked to do, uh, using his personal email address um, for government business uh, and generally sailing very close to the wind and and lying to the public and to his boss the prime minister so i don't think there will be many tears shed for matt hancock and either those who want lockdown lifted or those who want restrictions to remain oh sure that told us thank you good to see you doctor as always we need your good dose of blunt honesty when we get to these sort of matters thank you i appreciate it